We are here and I've got to pee so bad. So bad. You gotta pee? I don't gotta pee. I gotta pee. No, real I pee. bad. I, be, I pee before we uh what I pee. What you doing? Putting Put, you weighing me down? I was Look some... at your little bitty backpack. Do, do, do. It's like a door of the explorer backpack. It's Wes's backpack. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> it's Wes's. Alright. We're on our way in. We got Wesley yeah. with us too. Let's go to the gate. All right, so I went ahead and got us the raffle tickets. We're gonna try to win. I guess we're winning that truck. <laughs> gonna try to. There's so much stuff. So much, man. Like I feel like we went through a section again we'd already been through and there was rides that I didn't even see. Yeah. We missed, we had to get back on a golf cart to go see some stuff because we missed it. So much stuff here.
truck right here. This is what I want the square body. I, I don't think we're gonna be able to, to, to make it like that. I don't know, let's make it like this. Ye of little faith. We're gonna make it like this. All right guys, I'm here with Paul Treadwheel. This is his beautiful truck right behind us. And he was just telling me all about it because it's inspiration for a truck that we're gonna be building at our shop. Go ahead and tell everybody about it, man. It's a 78 uh, C10 and it was originally owned and, and still currently under Jesse Vaughn's uh, possession, but it was his truck. And uh, I got together with him and decided to build a uh, autocross truck. And through the conversation, he didn't want to sell it, but the next day he called me and goes, hey, let's build something special. So we've torn the truck completely down, put a no limit engineering chassis under it. Uh, it's got a Don Hardy Racing 446 cubic inch naturally aspirated mo mo motor. It's got 13 to one compression. What's and the on, the, on the dyno, it made 730. What's it, uh, what's it rev out at? Uh, 7400, so pretty good. And then what's also unique about this truck is that it has a sequential transmission. Oh, it has a SATA yeah. uh, sequential transmission. And if you'll look, you'll see that it's all paddle shift. Mm. There's a clutch, but there's no stick. Yeah. And you then just gotta use the clutch to get it started. Just to get it started. Yeah. You don't even have to shift with the clutch. You just I, I've watched a little bit it. about this truck. <laughs> uh, the other thing too is the interior. We took the dash out, had this 3 d and that's true carbon fiber. So that dash went from 24 pounds to two. And then we have a square setup. It's got C6 spindles. Uh, these are 18 by 11 forge lines with uh, 315 Falcons all the way around. And then obviously it's a dry sump. Full cage tied back to the frame. Yeah. And um, are, yeah, run, are you just, running it this weekend? We ran it this weekend. We're currently in first place. Hell yeah. And the, and the, good, first, the first couple <laughs> races already that it's competed in, it's That's won. That's awesome. Yeah. Dude, so yeah, a, we're still in first. It's a badass truck. I just yeah. have to tell you, it's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty outstanding. Y'all spend a lot of time and energy on this truck and it shows. Yeah, there's a lot of engineering behind it, even down to the gas tank. The gas tank is engineered just for this truck. Yeah. It's optimally set here to balance the weight of the driver versus the passenger side. So when Jesse's driving alone, you try to get that weight as equal as yeah. possible. So y'all, y'all aren't playing. We're not playing. Y'all aren't playing. Y'all are gonna win and you're doing whatever it takes. So whatever it takes, yeah. This, I mean, I guess you could say there's a, there's no cost involved at, at all. You. There's no limit on it. Yeah. It's, so. Dude, it's awesome and it shows, and I appreciate you taking a little time Absolutely. out of your day and showing it to us, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely, nice meeting you. Yes, sir, you too.
Y'all's brains are just going 90 to nothing, aren't they? This whole front clip's carbon fiber. What? It's all fenders, hood, cow, core support, grill, Everything. carbon fiber. Everything? Everything? And then all the diffusers, the wing, door panels. I bet the floorboards are too. Dude, that's a lot of carbon fiber. Russell. What? It's hot. It's hot. But it's well worth it. Oh, it's awesome. And it's not over yet. No, we haven't even seen everything. No, we haven't even seen. So uh, we're going right now. Take so, a leak. So we go tinkle. Tinkle. Take tinkle, a... tinkle. All right. Dude, there's so many trucks here. It's awesome. Uh, if y'all aren't here this year, you need to come out and check it out next year. Restrooms. We should have some trucks that we are going to bring to this show next year. So Look, my eyes are yellow. That's how bad I got to be. Wes, make them yellow in a post. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Peeing, bro. What you doing? You gonna get my pecker on camera? Oh, you got, you do got it on. <laughs>
Robert Lake Settle. And how does it feel to win this truck, man? Excited, excited. Excited. Are you going to take it home? Are you going to do anything to it? Yeah, yeah. We're going to take it home and uh, I guess start making it our own. That's awesome, man. It's a clean truck, dude. You've got an awesome deal, man. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Yes, sir. So congratulations. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Um, so it's been a couple, what's the day? Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday. Dude, we got back from C10 Nationals and that was a blast. I had to take a whole day to recoup from the amount of sun and heat. We did get a lot of sun and heat. A lot of walking. Luckily, I wore sunscreen. Mm, I wore long sleeves. Yes. So I will it be makes leaving. a big difference. I'll be leaving. I'll be wearing long sleeves the next show we go to. Mm-hmm. But there was a lot of awesome rides. This is my first time at C10 Nationals. Lots of cool rides. Lots of really nice stuff. The amount of nice stuff that was there compared to the older mini trucking shows was leaps and bounds above. Yeah. I remember the under construction category was quite... Uh, chaotic yeah there was everything in that, that but one. it was an awesome event met a lot of really cool people talked to a lot of really cool vendors we got a lot of coverage so we hope y'all enjoyed this video with all this show coverage we're going to keep bringing this stuff to you yeah and then sure. we're about to do a podcast and we're going to be talking about c10 nationals quite a bit on the podcast and ideas that we're getting and just our overall like what we plan on doing in the future for some of these events so if you like this video of the show coverage watch our podcast because we have that too and check out our youtube channel we have a lot more videos we build trucks do crazy stuff yeah we got all the social media platforms and you can find us anywhere so be sure to follow click like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one see y'all later guys